Virtually every building here has been affected in some way. Um, if I could show you a 360 degree circle around here, which I can't because the signal is not strong enough, but there are, are damaged buildings all around me. Behind me was an eight storey residential building. There are just a few volunteers who are trying to use pickaxes and their bare hands to take out uh, rubble. I'm being told that you can actually see if we can try, we'll try and tentatively turn around here because on this other building here they're hearing voices as well um, and they, they try every now and again they tell us to uh, be quiet so that they can use their small drills that's all they've got to try and drill down. There's people shouting on the top of that building. <clears throat> They've already taken out at least four corpses this morning and they're shouting now saying that they've heard people beneath. A lot of people in this province feel that they have been forgotten, that they haven't received help, that they're still not getting help. Uh, we saw crowds of people looting one of the supermarkets saying that they were hungry, they had nowhere to stay, no homes, no food and crucially no help at the moment. We understand that the main government hospital here uh, has been deserted of medical staff. It's partially destroyed, infrastructure has been, has been affected badly. There are still patients in there. Some of them have been killed by the earthquake. Others have died because they haven't been looked after in the interim since the earthquake. This area is still very vulnerable to aftershocks and further earthquakes. And there have been multiple throughout the whole of the, the Turkey-Syria region. 